everybody. Joseph Green Mount Gold Trap back to the spot that I left off. And luckily, nobody's been here. This is where I broke out those two big hunks of bedrock here and here. And there's some other stuff that I can break out. I've created myself a, a nice scraping tool. Hard steel. Get all this rake down. Run all this material. I gotta pan it all. But I'm gonna get at this and see what I can do. Remember what it looks like now. And we'll see what it looks like when I'm done. See what kind of gold I can get. Back in a while. Now, so far, I've gotten this scraped down pretty good. A lot of rocks have been broken out of here. All these broken pieces. So many of you who watch this channel already know this, but for those who are coming onto the channel and just getting started out, I'm going to, well I started to, I already cleaned these rocks off. Got a little uh, wire bristle brush type thing. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what comes off from these rocks just to show the importance of Cleaning off your rocks. Gold sticks to them. Back to you in a minute here.
Well, I'm making headway with it. Done quite a few pans. Gold in every pan. Not, you know, like nothing. There's some pretty good sized pieces, 20 plus. A lot of small stuff too. But that big piece just came out. All those pieces, that's a pretty good sized piece too. I'm gonna keep plugging away. Woo! <laughs> that's a big piece of bedrock right there. <coughs> that was sitting right where my shovel is, wedged standing up. That was the bottom of it, that section right there. Wedged right in there, a lot of material sandwiched in between that one and the way it was standing up. So I've scooped it all, well, not all of it, most of it. Right down in here, got my pan full. I've already cleaned this out really good. That's where I was working. And I went right up and through here too. And in the last video when I was here and moved those two pieces of bedrock, I found some quartz. Well, that's a whole pile of it right there. And all the way up and through here is an old quartz seam. It's breaking apart. You can see it right here. All the way up and through there. So I, I, I think I'm going to take those pieces home just to be safe. And one of these days, I'll have a rock crusher. Break them up, see what I can get out of it. I've got a bunch of hematite at the house too. But anyway, I'm going to keep plugging away at this. Everything that I got out of here is in this pan. Check this piece of quartz out. Crystal clear. That came out of that seam too. All right, I'll let you know after I go. Back in a bit. All right, so I got this all pretty cleaned out. Didn't get a whole lot out of here. And Steve, pointed ring guy, the very first time I had you come, you and Gail, <coughs> there was a pocket that I tested and it was right there. That was where I had you digging. You, get, you did pretty good right there. So that's where that big rock came out standing up right here. There was all kinds of material sandwiched in there. And there's a pocket right down in here. It keeps going down. Probably some more of this would break out of here, but I think I'm gonna head home and do some work in the shop. But, didn't do too bad. Got some decent pieces. Not too awful bad. So, before I go though, right over there, right there, I saw when I was bringing my shovel and bucket over there, I'm taking a look around, and there's a lot of, uh, a lot of hematite right there. So I'm gonna, Maybe do a couple pans there before I leave. So that's going to conclude today's video. I thank you all. Thank you my subscribers and those of you who may subscribe. Please feel free to do so. Leave a comment, like, share, and all that good stuff. Green Mountain Gold Traps. Pretty much done for the day. Except for what I'm going to do over there. So I'll catch you all later.